Hello and welcome to the All In series. We're here to share the stories of people who have gone all in and pursued their dream of owning their own business. My name is Layla Goulin, and we're happy to be joined by Robbie Lynn Haman, owner at Alpha Graphics in Louisville, Texas. She has more than two decades of extensive experience in all aspects of marketing and communications and decided to take the leap and go all in just last year. She joins us now to share her journey. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Layla. I appreciate the invitation, the opportunity to speak with you today. When and why did you start to consider owning your own business? So really, I've always wanted to own my own business. I've always had the entrepreneurial spirit. Even at a young age, I would participate in school fundraisers, come in as a, as a top selling student. I would make my own jewelry, sell it to my friends. I, I think I've always had that, that entrepreneurial bug in me. And as the years go on to go to school, life changes. I, I didn't, I had the opportunity to become a business owner, but as I joined corporate America, life happens, family start moving and changing. I realized that timing is important. That's what experience has taught me. Timing is everything. So I'm actually glad that I did not start that journey prior to, to now. The timing just wouldn't have been right. Right. Why did you decide to pick your particular industry? What were the key deciding factors? So for, for my particular journey, the industry actually picked me, believe it or not. Uh, you start off this journey uh, as, as Rich so uh, brilliantly guides each of his clients. He, he says, what are your needs? What are your wants? And uh, what are your desires, right? And so I had a list, of course, uh, of things that I wanted, things that I needed, things that I didn't want. And so as you go narrowing down that list, you realize that those needs and those wants, they, they go changing, they go evolving. What you think you want, what you think you need doesn't always align with what's available at the time, right? So I also wanted to be able to bring something to the table. Uh, that was one of the things that high up on my list. I really wanted to be able to bring value added. For example, my background is business and marketing. I wasn't going to start a restaurant. I, I know nothing about hospitality and cooking. So those were the kind of criteria that allowed me to, to choose and to narrow down the list. And then one other important thing among many was also family legacy. I wanted to build something, to accomplish something that I would have at least the opportunity to pass down to my children yeah. and provide them the opportunity. That's beautiful. Well, tell us about your business. So that's the fun part. I'm so glad you asked Layla because I absolutely love what I do. I never envisioned myself in this industry, but here I am loving every minute of it. It's called Alpha Graphics. It is a franchise. We are known worldwide. Basically, we help businesses succeed. How do we do that? We are print, we are signs, marketing, and technology. We're a full 360 uh, services for other businesses, whether it be a sign in front, a banner, your marketing event, technology, your website, e-commerce, everything. Our motto is get noticed and get business. And so that's what we do. We help other businesses succeed in the marketplace. That's beautiful. What were some of the challenges you had to work through to make your decision, if, if any? Oh, all of them, Layla, all of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there, be, starting your own business, whether it be from scratch or with a franchise, it's hard. Uh, like like anything that you start new, but it is so rewarding. And so I think the biggest challenge for me after those initial challenges, right? Making sure that you have finances, making that sure that you have support, the right people, you're in the right place, the timing. Past that, believe it or not, my biggest challenge was myself. I had to get past my own fears, my own insecurities, insecurities I didn't even know I had. Once I reached that point of overcoming myself and getting out of my own head, that's when I was truly able to make a decision. Interesting. And here you had all these years of working for other companies and corporations. How did you know when you were ready to go all in for yourself? So that that is a really good question. And it's, it's kind of hard to answer because there, it's not a black and white answer. It really, for me, again, timing. I come back to the, the, the factor of timing. I had worked in corporate America on this side of the ocean, meaning in the States and then in Europe. Uh, I had gone through a lot of transition in my life, uh, international, uh, 
moving and with family, with kids, I have four children. For me, it was a balance between my family, where we were at as a family, my kids, where they're at in their school, my husband and his career, and then where I was at personally, and was I ready to make that transition? Because it's a big responsibility, of course, starting your own business, not for the faint of heart. And so I had to make sure that I was in the right position to continue managing my family and my children and all that involved, but also starting this, which was my dream, of course. And that's terrific. What advice would you give others who are contemplating going on this very same journey? So that again is, is a very interesting question. And I think if I, I, I think about myself, what advice is what I would have wanted? Um, and what was I given at the start of this? And, and Rich, he's just, he's just so wonderful to work with when it comes to that. Uh, trust the process, trust my gut and know that I'm going to come across the fears, I'm going to encounter the insecurities, I'm going to encounter the the problems and the issues, but to keep pushing through and to trust the process and just take it one step at a time. That all sounds great. Well, if you could, please share with us your experience working with Rich and the Rich LeBrun Advisory Group and him shepherding you through the process. You know, I like that you use that word, a shepherd, because he he held our hand. Uh, my husband and I were both involved. Ultimately, it was my decision, but he held our hand the entire step of the way. I always felt protected by Rich, that he was on my side. It wasn't about um, it wasn't about his agenda. It was always about what was best for us, what was best for me, uh, making sure that I was making the right decision. And so I felt protected. I felt safe. And I felt like he came with such a wealth of knowledge and advice that I couldn't go wrong. I couldn't make the wrong decision, honestly. I could trust him to help guide me and figure out what I wanted and what I needed. So at the end of the day, whatever decision I made, whether it be to take the the plunge and go all in or to walk away and decide it was not the right time, whatever decision I made, I knew that it was going to be the, the best decision for me because he was there to make sure that I was gonna make the best decision. He wasn't gonna let me fail. <laughs> How can our audience get in touch with you should they need your services? Yeah, so our particular, each Alpha Graphics is individually owned and operated. So if you're in the Louisville area or you simply would like to get in contact with us, our website is us820.alphagraphics.com or my personal email address is rlhaman, H-A-M-A-N-N at alphagraphics.com. Fantastic. Thank you, Robbie Lynn, for joining us today on the All In series. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. And you'll be an inspiration for anyone thinking about taking the leap into entrepreneurship with a franchise. We wish you much success in the future. And thank you to all our viewers and listeners. We hope you've enjoyed meeting Robbie Lynn Haman and look forward to having you join us again as we explore more stories of those who've decided to go all in. We'll see you next time. 